Hi, and welcome to Melel. My name is Eyal, and in this video, we'll continue our journey into Melel's auto title feature and learn how to configure auto titles. Before we start, make sure you are familiar with the basic auto title concepts and operations like inserting, editing, and changing auto titles. You can learn about these in the auto title basics video. In the previous video, we took an unformatted document and converted its headings and captions into auto titles. This gave the headings uniform formatting and also allowed us to see an outline of the document in the outline pane and insert a table of contents. However, the appearance and behavior of auto titles were the default appearance and behavior. And while this may be just fine for many purposes, you might want or need to adapt it to suit your needs. This is where the auto title configuration comes into play. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about auto title streams. Auto titles belong or are assigned to streams. The auto title stream defines the appearance and behavior of the auto titles that are assigned to it. For example, in our document, the subchapter headings are assigned to the heading to stream. We can see that by right clicking the heading and looking in the auto title stream submenu of the contextual menu. I can choose to assign a different stream to that auto title, for example, heading one, which is the stream we used for chapter headings. And the auto title appearance will change. Let's undo that because this is actually a subchapter and not the chapter. So, the auto title belongs to a stream, and we have multiple streams in our document. The collection of all the auto title streams in the document, along with some other attributes, is called the auto title configuration. How can we change the auto title configuration? How about choosing Insert, Auto Title, Configure Auto Titles? On the left, we see the available streams in the configuration. When we click a stream name, we see its details on the right. The name, numbering type, Arabic, Roman, Latin, etc., and other settings. As you recall from the Auto Title Basics video, there are two types of auto title streams structure streams and caption streams. Structure streams appear in black and have a bolt or screw icon. Caption streams appear in blue and have a pushpin icon. Structure streams are used for structural elements of your document, like chapters and subchapters, while caption streams are used to label non structural elements, like images and tables. In our document, we use the Heading 1 stream for chapters and Heading 2 stream for subchapters. This means that we have to remember that when we insert auto titles in our document or when we want to configure the streams. Let's make this a bit easier by renaming these streams so that they reflect their proper function. If not open already, open the auto title configuration window by choosing Insert, Auto Title, Configure Auto Titles. Click on the stream name in the stream list once. Pause a little and then click again. Type your new name. When done, press return. Let's do the same for heading 2, but let's call it subchapter. Click OK to apply your changes. Let's right click this auto title and look at the auto title stream submenu. As you can see, the assigned auto title stream is called chapter. A look at the auto title palette also shows the newly assigned names. That's a small detail but makes things much more clear. In our configuration, we have five structure streams. Three of them, title, chapter, and subchapter, are being utilized. Heading three and heading four are not used, and we probably don't need them. There's no harm in leaving them there, 
but it is a bit cluttered, so let's remove these. Open the Auto Title configuration window by choosing Insert Auto Title Configure Auto Titles. Click Heading 3 to select it and click the Delete Auto Title Stream button. Both Heading 3 and Heading 4 streams were removed. This is because we deleted Heading 3 and Heading 4 was its child. Child streams are removed when their parent stream is removed. Let's also remove the figure caption stream and the table caption stream, which are not used in this document. Click OK to apply the changes. The palette now has just the streams we need. At the moment, the chapter auto titles use 18 point Helvetica Noi. This is fine by me, but I would like the chapters to be numbered and I would also like the numbers to be prefixed by the word chapter, like this. Open the auto title configuration window. At the top of the configuration window, you'll see a list of tabs. The first tab, streams, is where we edit the stream attributes. The other tabs are where we edit the various formats. Let's click on main format. The main format is the format used for the appearance of the auto titles in the text of the document. We have four items here, stacked one on top of each other. Each item corresponds to an auto title stream. The stream name is shown at the top of the item, and below that you can see a preview of how an auto title assigned to that stream would look like. The icon tells you if this is a structure stream or a caption stream. Since we want to change how auto titles assigned to the chapter stream look, we'd like to edit the format for this stream. So let's click the edit button. The format is the template on which the auto title appearance is based. This field is a text field where you can type text or insert dynamic elements. Let's select the whole thing and delete it by pressing the delete key. Let's type the word chapter and add a space. Note that the preview changes immediately to reflect the changes. This text is static. It will appear as is in any auto title. The next thing we want to have here is the chapter number. This is a dynamic element and we can insert it by clicking the insert element pop-up menu and choosing level number. The level number element is framed here to indicate that it is a dynamic element. The preview shows the number one, but in the document, it will be replaced by the position of the auto title in the sequence of auto titles. Following the level number, type a colon and a space. This is also static text, which will appear as is in all auto titles of that stream. The next element we want here is the chapter name. And for that, we need to use the title element, which is a placeholder for the name or title you type when you insert the auto title into the text. Click the insert element pop-up menu and choose title. The title element is a dynamic element like the level number element, so it is drawn inside a frame. Note that the preview uses the stream name as the title here, but in the text, this will be replaced by whatever you enter as the title for that auto title. Let's see what we've got so far. Click the OK button to dismiss the auto title configuration sheet and apply the changes. As planned, each chapter auto title is now formatted using the word chapter followed by the chapter number and the chapter name. Now that the chapter auto titles look nice, Let's turn our attention to the subchapters. Here, we would like to number the subchapters just like we did for the chapters, but we would also like to show the number of the enclosing chapter, like this. Open the auto title configuration sheet and click the main format tab. Locate the item for the subchapter and click edit. Let's select all and delete. First thing is the chapter number. 
The chapter is the parent of the subchapter. So click in the insert element pop-up and choose parent level number. Follow that with a period. Now for the subchapter number, choose level number from the pop-up menu and follow that with a space. Finally, we want to see the subchapter name, so insert a title element as well. Click OK to apply the changes. Now the subchapters are formatted exactly as we wanted them. Now that we've got the subchapter formatting sorted, let's refine the chapter formatting a bit further. Have a look at this chapter heading. It shows up in the middle of the page. We would like it to start on a new page. To do that, we can insert a page break right before the chapter, but we would like this to apply automatically to all chapters without requiring us to go over each chapter and insert a page break. Open the auto title configuration sheet, but this time stay on the streams tab. Click on the chapter stream. The prefix with pop-up menu allows us to set a prefix for the auto titles of this stream. Let's select page break. Click OK to apply changes. Scrolling through the document, we can see that each chapter starts on its own page. We use the chapter auto titles as the heading for the table of contents. This worked OK before when our chapters were not numbered, but with the way chapter headings are formatted now, this doesn't make a lot of sense. For one, the table of contents is not a chapter, so the chapter prefix is not appropriate. In addition to that, the table of contents is considered to be chapter 1, which means that the first chapter is labeled chapter 2. This gets even more complex if we want to add other unnumbered parts to our document, like a preface, acknowledgements, and so on. Let's fix that by adding another auto title stream for such unnumbered parts. In the Configuration Sheet Streams tab, select the title stream if not selected, and click the plus button at the bottom of the stream list. Choose Add Structure Stream. Name the new stream Front Matter, or any other name you like. Note that the new stream is on the same level as the chapter stream. This means that these streams are siblings. Both are children of the title stream. We want Front Matter sections to start on a new page, just like chapters, so let's choose Page Break in the Prefix menu. Now, let's take care of the format. Switch to the main format tab and open front matter for editing. Looking at the format, we can see that it contains only a title element, which is what we want, but the font and size of the text look like body text. Looking at the paragraph palette, we see that the applied style is use surrounding, which means that the auto title will use the formatting font, size, and so on, at the location where it is inserted. We want these front matter headings to look like chapters, so let's apply the same formatting we used for chapters to this stream. Double-click the heading 1 in the paragraph style palette. Comparing the two streams, it seems that they are both using the same font and size. Dismiss the configuration sheet and inspect the document. The table of contents heading is still looking like a chapter heading. This is because we created a new auto title stream, but we didn't assign it to the table of contents auto title. Double click the auto title and choose Front Matter in the stream pop up menu. The table of contents heading is now looking correct. Also, scroll down to the first chapter and you'll see that it is now correctly numbered as chapter 1. That's it for the Configuring Auto Titles video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. We covered a lot, 
but there's still much more to see with auto titles. We will continue our auto title journey in the following videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.